did you get mad that Lily didn't come I to the baby missed. shower? What do you do, Jonathan? I didn't know how to handle it. I was like about to literally block the word Blanca from my. What is up? Welcome back to another episode. Wait, it's wait, your wait, boy Mondo. <laughs> they're yeah, like, they're like, it's look. your baby. <laughs> it's your baby, and you gotta present this podcast. Sorry, so we're ready. We are reporting live from Spill the Bean Studios. Sheesh. Let's go. Spill shout the Beans out to, headquarters. Shout out to Blanca and Jonathan for having us today. But let's uh-huh. present ourselves first, babe. Yes. Go ahead. Um, what's up, you guys? I am Lily Bay, aka Mando's fiance. Let's go! Ooh. And this is your boy Impro Mando in the house. Um, one of the guys behind the TCR podcast, and today we have some special guests. Super um, special guest for the first time ever yeah. on La Cruda Realidad. <gasps> damn, it's about damn time. For <laughs> real. <laughs> two years later. My goal for 2024 was to have more guests on the podcast, and it's week two. Okay. Two or three, and That's we already true. have a he guest. That's true, he did say that. You're starting so, off strong. So um, there's a whole story behind how we made this happen, but we made it happen, but uh, we got Blanca in the house. Um, what is it? Let 300K? Let her herself, babe. Blanca J, was it? What, two, Blanca J and 300K? <laughs> if you know, you know, guys. It's so crazy how we've we've been through a lot of milestones together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. We've been through a lot of stuff And together, it's only guys. been three years that we've four. known. You said four. Four? Yeah. Oh, four, four. It's our anniversary this year, our four-year anniversary. <gasps> No are you either. sure for years yes oh because it was God. 2020 we met right before the world shut down yeah oh, you're yeah. right you're right yeah, that's probably why we met but and we got jonathan over there don't forget jonathan j 100k <laughs> 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 just 100 for the Let's meantime go. he <laughs> is the um the guy behind spill the beans see yes, on all right sir. that's yeah, his yeah. baby that's his baby that's um, fair to say four years on it right Four years for a podcast. <gasps> yeah. Dang, congratulations. You know, thank you, guys. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's the way a lot. it's evolved and where we're at now, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it that's awesome. Crazy. Um, when I first started the podcast, well, before I before we started the podcast, I wanted to start the podcast before we even started YouTube. See you no, babe. Oh yeah. So then um a couple years later I see Spill the Beans comes out. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, babe, let's start a podcast. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, no, no. It's because we don't. I don't know what we're gonna talk about or whatever, you know. So Correct. then I was like, I don't know how we 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 came up with talking about the cruda realidad about whatever topic. So that's why we're here today. Wait, we're wait, but wasn't some, it Jonathan the one that like pushed? You yeah, he was me? pushing me. He was pushing me all the I time. I pushed Mano for like a good a good year, year at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you already people already love Lily's voice. Like, yeah. do you have a people have a thing for your voice? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. What? what is it? I, I say we do because I've told you. I was and like, I love Mando, hearing you talk. His creativity, creativity side of it, things. So I was like. What's the holdup? Yeah. Know? So we made it happen, and I'm I'm super happy to be here because this podcast um, was supposed to be episode one. We're on episode seventy two. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell them. Tell them. Right. So we're on episode seventy two. Um, but when we first recorded episode one, it looked like it was a it mess. Looked like shit. Yeah. There was like those holes. couches were ugly. There was like gray. cables everywhere. They had my throw up on them. Where the freaking um. <laughs> The microphone stands like yes, in front of right. us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't even see. Like, why yeah. we just could have done this. Maybe yeah. Maybe. yeah. What happened? Well, basically, we <laughs> we had already filmed with Blanca and Jonathan episode one when we first yeah. started, and we never posted it. Never, never posted released. It. And never. I felt like at the time I wasn't good with like controlling or talking, and I was all over the place. I was getting nervous. Now it's like. I'm 72 you say episodes that, but in, I you thought know? it was a good podcast. You think we should bring it back and, you know. Yo, you should release. drop it. Imagine we drop it. Drop it. Because we still have the karaoke that microphones, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I ate yeah. with those. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. <laughs> That's crazy. If That's you guys want to watch it, comment down below. We'll definitely. Put some uh, clips. You think you have it? it? I have it somewhere you do? in there. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. slip it and put it on um. On, on TikTok. Reels and TikTok. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah let's that do that. Because so we had some good talk. Yeah, it was like conspiracy. Yeah, it was, it was a very conspiracy. And then I remember I, I said some things I shouldn't have. Because <laughs> remember, I was like, was something about Jenny Rivera or something. Oh, my oh, God. No, I never mind. Please don't put those out there. But yeah, um, but, yeah, I'm super happy to be here. It's episode 72, mm-hmm. like I said, for the 30 million times. 72. 72, bro. Um, episode 72. So you've been doing it for more than a year? Uh, this, yeah, this is year three. We well, started in August. Have, oh, did you miss a lot of weeks? Because no. I mean, you should have fifty-two is a year. 
I don't know how it works. Something like that. But yeah, this is 72. The math ain't mathing. Yeah, this ain't adding up. So you've been doing two years, <laughs> so right? You two said. Two years then. Then you should this have 104 three. episodes if you upload. No, no, no. It would be two years in August. Yeah, yeah. This oh, is year three. Yeah, that oh. makes sense. This is season three, bro. Come on. Now. Oh, yeah. Period, period. <laughs> so we're the first guest of yeah, season three. Yeah. Three. yeah. Actually, we haven't had a guest in a long time. <gasps> yeah. Who was your last oh, wow. guest? I, I think Melissa. No. Um, when she came? The guy from Israel. The guy from Israel does he does he, does he count as a guest? Well, yes. he wasn't there, so no, it doesn't. He count. wasn't there. That's but then true. before that, virtual. we had um, in July we had the whole immigration thing. Yeah, that guy. So oh, we had a uh, DJ Moyon. Yeah. And then before that, we had um, slime the slime team. Oh, the slime. Uh, oh that was Cabin. before Melissa. Yeah, squi- <gasps> squishy Raul. I thought that was yeah, yeah. So we did that over there in their after. offices. Yeah. Well, we're very honored. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank you guys. But yeah, two Thanks years, for three years later. Time for us. Thanks for, for sure. canceling your flight for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother Thanks story. Thanks for making literally. the whole family yeah. miss their flight for y'all. <laughs> literally, literally, literally. Booking an Airbnb, waking up at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You thought leaving four hours before your flight was going to be enough time? Yeah. Nope. No. no. We left four hours. We left at 10 a.m. to get to the airport by 2 p.m. No, Segun. by 12. See. Si. And we got there at 2.30. So it took yeah. us like oh four hours God. just to get to the airport from the mountains. That's and that's half why a tank. we're here. And <laughs> yeah. half a tank. I was so, yeah. worried. I was like, oh, my oh, God. Heck no. But, but yeah, um, you ready to get into the topics of the day? Yeah, we have no idea what Mando has for us, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, I'm just waiting for your dad joke. Like, I'm like, I'm going to get shit. it right now. Like, oh, shit, you did it. <laughs> you better have one now. Normally, when oh, I have better. guests, when I have Mondo, guests. Mando, really? I, 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 I'll that's I, that's I'll the only reason that. I came on the podcast. <laughs> just kidding. That's out. the only reason. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to leave. No, nah, but um, I see a lot of other podcasts in the different different niche um, podcasts when they interview other creators i feel like they bring a lot of um value to uh to people that want to grow in social media Mm -hmm. and i feel like we don't do that as much on our side i don't know if we're trying to i don't know if some people are trying to gatekeep i don't know if some people just don't feel confident enough to like help out to grow social media so that's one of the topics for today i kind of want to you know ask you what's working you know if Mm -hmm. you want to tell us about that i want to i want to touch base with like just overall, like, how do you feel about the whole social media, um, getting canceled, just all that, all that cruda realidad on Sheesh. that. Um, I think we'll go on for days. Yeah. But um, my first thing is that I've been watching Blanca since we first met her, right? Yeah. And lately, I've been seeing her work with, like, these enormous brands, great brands to work with. And I feel like, um, I feel, what's the word? Like motivated? Yeah, orgulloso about her. Oh, I feel see, very, see. very proud. happy and proud mm-hmm. because I see you working with these brands. I'm like, hell yeah, you guys are killing it. Yeah. How does it feel to go to headquarters that you were at, to the headquarters that you just went to? Like, how does that feel, you know? Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you, first of all. Mm-hmm. You guys know that we see you guys as our older siblings. So <laughs> hearing that from you, I'm like, ah, not me crying. <laughs> um, but it is, it's insane. I mean, we were at the PNG headquarters this week, or yeah, this last week, and we walked into a museum and there's like um they have everything that they own there mm-hmm. and we were looking i'm like oh wait i literally use everything here oh, like yeah, how am i here i can't yeah. believe that what i started what six seven years ago brought me here yeah. so i don't know i'm very proud of myself i would say and just for sticking through tell yeah. them what what they all own for the people that don't know they own freaking everything that you use like i saw the pregnancy test that i used to find out i was pregnant they used they own like head and shoulders what else Olay, Old Spice, Native. Pampers, Pampers. which is what we use every single day. Um, oh, Tide. Tide, Downy. Tide Pods, Downy. So they, they own, own like all the major brands. Literally everything. That's crazy. So I was like, I can shop here for my regular life yeah. because mm-hmm. they owned everything. So it was just insane. Like to be there and walk in there. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. This yeah, is so. Cool. I mean, um, when we've got hit up by other brands too, I'm like, damn, this is cool. Like being able to work with these brands, but you going there, I mean, that's a whole different world. Yeah, or them taking you you there. Yeah, Yeah, like inviting us. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, Yeah, that's Just a girl from Colorado, (laughs) you know? (laughs) I think it's just crazy to think that because like when I started YouTube and I was, I had one follower and it was myself, I was like, I never thought that that would get me to where I am right now, you know? Like I would, 16 year old me would never think that she'd be being flown out to yeah. headquarters and um for the people back at home because i feel like the person next to you when it comes to like 
like things like that, like Jonathan, never gets enough credit. Like mm-hmm. I feel like Jonathan does do things, but people don't see it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I want to I want to ask Jonathan. You know, like <laughs> yo, he's ready for this. <laughs> so so I, I, I want Jonathan to speak too uh, upon like all this because I mean y'all see Lily Bay, y'all see all her TikToks, and y'all see everything she does. But I do help out every now. And then, yeah. You know? No, no, he does. Mando, I always say it like. Shout out to Mando. You guys see it. He's always working, editing, doing all that stuff for me. So, so the question to Jonathan is like, I, I'm going to be honest. Give me the TCR, the Cruda Realidad. What do you do, Jonathan? What do I do? What do you do, baby? Besides hacerme. Literally. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm kidding. I think what makes our relationship work so well, Blank and I, is that I'm okay being the behind the scenes man, you know? I see a lot of relationships where the guy craves just as much attention yeah. as the girl d- does <clears throat> or no, not not oh, like damn. like in a fr- in a front of the camera type of way yeah. and and I'm okay with being behind the whole time. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm I'm considered, you know, Blanca's hype man. Yeah, do I do a lot of like the the maybe the business side of it, the the the, the actual setting up equipment, doing stuff, camera, memory cards, lenses, stuff like that but at the end of the day i'm fine being in that position and i think if like my wife can flourish as like the main star that's perfect because it it brings in the money one and two i can't get canceled you know so (laughs) (laughs) i'm kidding but um i think that's what works because i do see some relationships like really big influencers or even like you can even see it with movie stars or a-list celebrities Mm -hmm. where like they clash a lot because th- their personalities both crave this like the attention. Yeah, like. and and I see when I see like those TikTok couples that are like really big, and the guy kind of like tries to like, shine the wife or something. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna work. And true enough, they end up yeah. breaking up or something happens, and yeah. I'm like, that's true. You know, you gotta make up your mind because I've seen TikTok couples where the guy is the main star, and mm-hmm. but they both know that, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. So I know that I'm just the behind the scenes guy because I like it. I lo- I love it. Yeah, it's like before we before we even started the podcast, the guys were the ones setting everything up, yeah. the cameras. There's three different cameras setting up all the mics, making sure that how everyone is going to sit worked. Yeah. And that's stuff that you guys don't see. But again, the guys are always the ones usually yeah. behind the scenes making all this happen. Yeah, and we see that with every relationship. Yeah. Like uh, with our friends, I mean, the guy is always either helping out with the kids yeah. or helping out with the camera or the equipment. Um, Every relationship. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Wait, do we know the 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 other side, like uh, a male influencer? Like yeah. in our in our like a, a, a couples. That, that is more. More. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, the one that came to mind was on this Pampers trip. Um it was uh, this, like, white couple, the one that they're really big. And oh, he's, like... Oh, he is kind of the main yeah, one. Yeah, he's... A, it's, like, they're called, like... I forget their name. It's, I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll put them right here. We'll Shelby send it to you. Shelby and Dylan. Shelby and Dylan. They're so super okay. big white funny. TikTokers. But the thing is that she records him doing funny things. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So he'll, like, be, like babe, why'd you buy this thing? Like, this looks like a... And then he'll, like, roast her. But he's the main star. And she, behind the scenes, is, like, cracking up, laughing, Mm -hmm. and being like, Dylan, you're so silly, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They speak like that because they're from Alabama. Oh, they have (laughs) such a cool accent. they have, like, that accent, you know, that country. So then then that's their thing. He's the main star in the camera. Even though they're together, that's where I... uh, That example that I'm trying to give is that sometimes a guy is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's dope. Mm -hmm. Um, And... Okay, now to the meat of the podcast, right? Um, what What's working right now? Like if somebody has a, a business mm-hmm. or has a passion for, let's say, drawing or whatever, right? Where would you push them to go? Like to go on YouTube, to TikTok. go on Instagram, TikTok? A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Yes, TikTok is... Literally, like, the algorithm on TikTok is insane. Mm -hmm. You can go viral overnight. And I think YouTube videos can go viral, but not, like, TikTok. That is easy, Yeah. No. And I don't know. I feel like TikTok is easier, too, because the content doesn't have to be long. Like, for YouTube, it has to be at least 10 minutes for it to be a good YouTube video, in my opinion. And so when TikToks, they literally can be 60 seconds, and you can get all the marketing Mm -hmm. in 60 seconds, you know? And it has very huge potential to go viral. Yeah, huge. You know, I mean, we've seen a lot of artists go viral, yeah. like Chino Pacas go viral. Sh- yeah, yeah, exactly. Shadi yeah. Bay, Shadi Bay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like I watch a lot of Santi recently for Vlogmas. You guys yes. know who Sa- from mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. Dad Wiggies. Yeah. Remember that yeah. guy? 
He used to work out. He posted videos of him at Home Depot like a year ago. Yes. And now he just bought his dad an Escalade yes. and his mom a house. Oh, and it's awesome. like just from, from Houston, TikTok. Right? Mm -hmm. Houston. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, so badass. cool that like guys like TikTok has like this has never been around before. Yeah. Like I, I know when we started social media, it was like Vine. Vine, but Vine yeah. you couldn't really like uh, go. And Vine go. went away and everybody yeah. like but so but did TikTok, the creators. If you have a it. business and you don't have a TikTok account. Do yeah, you know, spanking the bus. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it could be the most random things going viral, like that UPS guy, um, you know, the one that's always dancing and yeah. stuff. Um, I don't know who else, but there's just so many creators out there, and like you said, you 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 met so many on this trip yeah. that you would have never thought. I wouldn't even know who they yeah. were, and when we go to their pages, I'm like, dude, these people have so many followers, and I think that goes to show that. Just because you think that there's already too many creators, too many influencers, like there's not. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. so many people in this world that there's that group of people that are just gonna like you for being you. Correct. You know, mm -hmm. like the guys, the family we met from um, Ontario. Oh yeah. Mila and the fam, they have like 800k on TikTok and like Instagram, another 300k. They're from Ontario. Mm -hmm. Where Lulu's from, mm -hmm. and how many times have we gone yeah. to Ontario? And We've never he heard her never met. Known. And I, I, we, I asked them, "Do you guys know La Comadre Lulu? No, who is that? Oh, you know, but it's like yeah. they're within miles of each other. Yeah, yeah, that's but crazy. A whole different million followers. You know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and to me, the the craziest thing about all this social media thing is that um, the you talk to different creators, right? And they're like, "Oh, we're killing it on Facebook," you know. And then someone else is like, "Oh, I'm killing it on Shorts." <laughs> or then someone else is like, oh, I'm doing TikToks. Or so Snapchat. Like, or Snapchat. Snapchat right chat. I'm like, I got a homie that's like, hey, man, we're focusing on Snapchat posts. You got to post like 50 times on Snapchat a day. <laughs> oh, and then <laughs> post, a, post a highlight. And then, I mean, after a while, yeah. you can get monetized. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. And then someone tells me, oh, man, I just, um, we opened TikTok for our podcast. And we're going to we're gonna do like 50 reels and 50 mm -hmm. shorts and like there's so much potential there's so much ways to make it out there it's just yep. about yeah it's just a matter of just pushing it and or doing it like Legana's, you just have you know? to do it yeah. the yeah. biggest piece of advice that i'm gonna give right now guys and it's 100 percent true no no sirve de nada if i'm telling you to if blanca's telling you to go to on tiktok if mando's telling you to go to on snapchat if i'm telling you to go on shorts consistency yeah. is key yeah mm -hmm. no matter what platform you decide to go on you need to upload it worked with david dobrik it worked with logan paul with jake paul they uploaded at least i think david dobrik and logan paul did three videos a week for three yeah, years for three years yeah and look at it it paid off eventually it's gonna pay off you know Damn. yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy i mean yeah consistency is key with not just with social media just with everything like if you got a regular job let's say I mean, just be consistent, show up, mm -hmm. show up on time and, you know, be consistent trying to learn and to, you know, level up. So, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. just part of life, which yes. is badass. What would um the 10 year old Blanca tell Blanca today? She would think she was crazy. Like if I could go back <laughs> and tell like 11 year old me, like, you're going to be a YouTuber. She'd be like, you're fucking dumb. That's like, crazy. no, you're not. There's no way. That's crazy. Because I just I would have never. And I've been consuming YouTube for ever since it became like ever since the transition from being a music app to like a vlogger app when like bethany moda and like all of these big youtubers were doing it big and i just remember like seeing starbucks and target i'm like i could never afford that like what starbucks yeah. is such a luxury I, if it, i'd be lucky to get it once a month you know mm -hmm. so if i could go back and like tell her that i was gonna be doing youtube full-time and like retiring my mom and ha retiring my husband and like having him be a content creator too like yeah. she would have never thought that but That's like you're crazy. lying especially at your age <laughs> like you're lying to me girl yeah. where's the proof i mean this is way off subject but kind of in there um i just thought about it right now jonathan posts a lot of when when he does post he posts <laughs> he posts franco when and I'm those things go room. viral <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah. why why don't you do a little more of that or just bruh please tell him because no, everybody me, asks him for me it's just genuinely i i think tiktok is kind of hard to navigate like edit yeah so uh, you showed me cap cut recently yeah. not recently <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Two years but ago. that really helped me a lot okay. but like editing a video on tiktok and then adding the music yeah. and that to me was like rocket science okay. i think um 
something that Jonathan struggles with is he doesn't consume the type of content mm. that we create. Okay. So he every time I tell him, like, babe, you have to cater to your audience. Like, right. I understand that he likes to watch these, like, conspiracy TikToks or um, even, like, football TikToks or running yeah. TikToks. And I'm like, I great, consume the content you want. But our niche like our followers are they follow you because you're a great dad and because they love franco yeah. right so it's like use that and cater to them mm. and i think that that's what's hard for him that's true yeah. he's, now that he's you said processing. that it like process like mando saying all these <laughs> things that i think about too because sometimes like i told you earlier Mando's yeah. like babe you gotta put you gotta post more you gotta post more right yeah i was pissed i was pissed this weekend because <laughs> <laughs> she i was i was I, i'll tell you a story i'll be right quick but um so we, we, I was like, babe, I had like three TikToks, right? So we, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm, I'm getting all over, right? But um, we opened up a Lily and Bay fam I channel, did. right? I followed and it. those videos go viral. When they see us too. Fam channel? Yeah, like on TikTok. It's a Lily oh. and Bay fam. Fam is like, because I want to show more of Camila, Family, yeah. Rudy, Luna, oh, my mom, my grandma, right. like more, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, which one of my homies told me, hey, open up a channel and it's going to go viral. And it literally did. We got like, what, two million mm. uh, views on one video. And it's been good. It's, it's been only good. been like four videos. We got four we videos, right? Them. So I'm like, yo, let's go to the snow. And make some TikToks. I was like, I got three. So we go out there. And we go to the <laughs> snow. And Lily's freezing her butt cheeks off. Literally. So um, we didn't make any TikToks for the Lily Bay fan. But go ahead, babe. That's just what I was I saying. I forgot what I was saying. You're going to say... Um, that everything was processing when I'm oh, talking yeah. about the content. Oh, that yeah. Consume. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be forgetting. So basically, um, that's a... You like helped me out right there because <laughs> when Mando's like, "Man, I need you to post something. I need you to post something," I'll be like, "Okay, let me look for inspo." So I'll start scrolling on TikTok, but on my TikTok that I watch and consume mm -hmm. is house renovations Literally. and and um organizing <laughs> videos and what else do I consume? Mini cows, Mini now. cows <laughs> now, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be on there for like two hours because you know it goes by like this, and I'll be like. I got nothing. I got nothing that I could redo mm -hmm. for, like you said, your audience, yeah. right? They don't want to see me uh, organize my, you know, my pantry or whatever. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Knowing what your cons what your followers want to see yeah. and then giving them that, right? Yeah. So yeah. I guess sit down and analyze, kind of like think about it. All right. So what what videos are doing good? Yeah. And be like, like okay, I think my audience likes this, and yes. let me. Do 10 of these. Just see you know? what, what they engage the most with and then go ahead. Yeah, because you, I mean, I consume your content, by the way. Yeah. And you do really good, like. Engaging. Like, yeah. Well, like, the, your, yeah, your followers. Like, you get ready and it's like a minute long video. It's like, you know, it's just click, 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 click. Yeah. And there's other um, influencers also that they just like, like uh, Beauty Bird. Mm -hmm. You know, she has like these fast paced videos. Da, 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 exactly. Which is badass too. So, I mean, you just look at whatever, like like y'all said, look at what's working and... And do it. And do it. Yeah. yeah it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to find a balance. Well, not even a balance. You just have to like, like me, like Blanca's right, you know, I have a demographic of 98% women, even Damn. though I'm a guy that loves guns, racing, horses, football and stuff. I know I'm not kind of going to make content like that. It's not going yeah. well, to appeal to my audience. Well, you can make it and nobody's going to watch it. Yeah. So then, you know, but I used to think I was like, but if I make that dad content stuff and it's not me, but it is me because yeah. I've created that following yeah. and I've created that lifestyle. That's literally I just, what I was just telling you. I just right need now. to learn how to like clock in quote air quotes into work mm -hmm. make that content and then clock out yeah it's still me i'm still working and it's still me because i am a dad i do love to play with franco and go on target runs with him and stuff i just need to like you Recording. know maybe not upload when the bronco score touchdown <laughs> no, well, that too. well mando for a long time like you said it, it makes it hard to for me at least and now i see for jonathan too to figure out what to post because ideally you want to post something that you like like you said your broncos or whoever right um and then then you think like do do you want to be a tiktok dad like do you want to be yeah, known for true. that like yeah. is that you know mm -hmm. so then you're like not saying that you don't like that but maybe that's not what you want to be known for so it makes it a little hard right yes. yeah. so like mando would always try to you know mando goes to all the games in, in tampa right yeah 
man will be like, I'm going to vlog. I'm like, babe, nobody, nobody cares. wants yeah. to see literally, that. Literally, those exactly. videos do shit. I'm like, I'm better off having a good time. Yeah, literally. Than just holding the, the camera recording. the whole time. Exactly. Exactly. really, really like wants to vlog that. Because yeah, remember, we started the we started YouTube to have memories for yeah. ourselves. Yeah. So if that's what Mando really likes and he wants to see himself in 30 years, you know, going to a game like that, that's what makes it hard. Like, OK, so do we not post what we want to post? Yeah, and do we have to just post what everyone else wants to see? Like, how should we how Balance should we that. go about yeah. this? Yeah. You know? I think uh, another great way is YouTube, because with YouTube vlogs, if there's a 30 minute vlog and in two or three of those minutes, you're at the football game and then the other like 20 it's True. like you and lily together or she's getting ready i think that that it's easier to cater that to your audience because they're getting a little bit of like everything because of what they follow you for and then tiktok since it's such short form content and it's like people want to get to the point you have three seconds to catch their attention just do what is already working yeah. you know it's funny i have a little story with that i recently got my twitter hacked um i had like a thousand followers and stuff like that but it's so funny that I, all my Twitter is football and soccer and or funny memes, but it would get to a point where I would see a funny, you know, Broncos meme and I wouldn't press retweet because I know that that would pop up on all the oh, thousand shit. girls that follow me. So I was like, this isn't fun for me. This is yeah. Twitter for me is like, uh, like it's my like ego place where I can be, you know, dark humor, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So whatever, I recently got hacked. So I had to make a new one. And right now I literally have... Uh, I follow seven people and no followers, but the stuff that I be retweeting and liking, oh, I, I feel yeah. like it's me. Like, um. I feel like I have this little safe space finally for myself. So mm -hmm. I'd be liking the dumbest shit that <laughs> I wouldn't have liked with my original TikTok mm -hmm. account. Okay, I so mean, Twitter account. Should we tag your Twitter don't, account? Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> please, don't. Please, please that make makes it private, sense, babe. Though. Yeah, I like that too. I, I like, like what too. he said about clocking in yeah. mm -hmm. and just doing it for that, like for work. And then yeah. I can still go about my day because honestly, for the past, like, I want to say for the past, like, six months, give or take half a year, I've really been like, social media. Like, yeah, bruh. like, yeah. I like living in the moment with the kid. Like, I don't have kids, but my nieces, my nephews, like, are, my routine, my day to day, what I l live for is I go to work, Guadis, you know, and then after work or the weekend, I go pick up the kids and I'm with them all weekend. Mm -hmm. But I don't post that all the time. Yeah, yeah, you'll see the kids on my story, but I don't, like, create content with yeah. that, you know? Up until the other day that we finally did um, we did a tick, uh, vlog with Little Rudy, mm -hmm. right? Which yeah. didn't do good, so I was like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I wanted it for me, right? Yeah. We, we did a, a, a vlog with Little Rudy, and then we realized that last time he was on the vlog... He was like, we we're living in downtown. Still. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was oh, wow, over. We've years? been at the three, house three years, three years already. That is crazy. So it was over three, four years ago. So he was like two feet oh smaller. Gosh. And I kind of got mad at myself. I was like, I literally started vlogging to have more memories with the kids. And I missed four years of potential oh, vlogs yeah. because of life, you know, life yeah. happening or, you know, the whole influencer life and being on trips with everybody. So for four years, I didn't. I don't have nothing with Little Rudy. Let's that's say crazy. you know, God, yeah, because yeah, it true. turned from a hobby to like work. Yeah, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where I kind of tell the difference. I'm like, because same thing happened with my friends from, um, like you know, my work friends when we opened the Cave Podcast with oh, it was yeah. just us three guys. They would be kind of they would get frustrated, be like, "Why aren't we growing as fast?" And I was like, "Look, you knew that my audience would come and support." But they would support their girls. They don't want to hear about your UFC conspiracy <laughs> or the fight that's going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. I was like, look, let's start catering. So then we started doing uh, things girls want to know about guys. And then those videos would go very, like, uh, the most views we would get because all our following is girls. Yeah. And they wouldn't, like, they would kind of be like, damn, but. I don't really want to talk about girls. So I was like, okay, it's fine. But you need to understand that we're going to go grow very slow and genuine. Start from, from zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Damn. Um, we, I'm telling you, I, I wanted to get deep into helping people out and kind of understand yeah. this world. Because honestly, you guys back at home, which is not a bad thing, but you guys back at home to see us do a post. And that's it. That's all that Blanca does for the day, you know, as far as social media. Yeah, but no, they think. that's mm -hmm. what you guys think or some. I mean, not all of you guys. But I feel like what 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 does it take to be Blanca? Like what other than like on, on social media aspect, like do you research a lot? Do you just 
consume it and and study it mm-hmm. or like how's that work i think it's because i consume it and i've been consuming it for years and mm-hmm. years um i started uh, consuming t- uh, youtube when uh, that transition happened and from day one i already knew what type of videos i wanted to make and what youtuber i would want to be if i ever became one so i just started uploading content that i was consuming and things that i liked and so what i do day to day is not only consume youtube but i really analyze it like i'm like okay what does this youtube video have that can help and it's like a good thumbnail a good uh Mm -hmm. a good title and it has to have a good intro because if your intro isn't good and i'm not talking about like making an intro with the Mm -hmm. song no i'm talking about the first like 30 seconds of you talking it has to capture their attention too because i think youtube is so hard to capture attention right now because people are on tiktok you know like they don't yeah they don't care about long-form content anymore so I just, I do a lot of analyzing and I'm like, what can I add to my thumbnails to make them come and click on my video and the title as well too. So it's very strategic. Very. So do you get, do you get affected or like emotionally or does it <coughs> fuck with you when, um, let's say you post a really good video on YouTube, mm-hmm. right? Back in the day, it would be hella views. But now um, you post the same video, not the same one, but something that you really are Charlie Ganas on. And it doesn't hit as before. What's your feelings behind that? I I just have to, I think I have to make a better one. Like, I just have to make a better one the next time. Make make sure that the content might still be the same, but yeah. better thumbnail, better um, title. Like, when I'm vlogging, I usually forget to take pictures on my phone for the thumbnail. And those are usually the videos that don't do as good because I'm just screenshotting from the video. Okay. And I'm like, well, I didn't even pose like long enough to get a good, not blurry picture, you know? Mm-hmm. And so now, I, now like creating my content back then, it was like just upload yes. like whatever, like yes. just upload your life. <laughs> and people liked yes. it. And I think that now, I have, like, when I'm about to vlog, I'm like, okay, I want to vlog this today, but how do I vlog it in a way where it's entertaining? Mm -hmm. And then aside from that, take pictures that I can edit on my (laughs) app that is going to make it a vibe and so that everything can correlate, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a lot of that. And, like, what fonts are are looking good on the thumbnails, too, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to go through all of that. And what are people clicking? You got to consume. If you really want to make it anywhere, Mm -hmm. you got to consume whatever you're doing, you know? Like, if you have a brand, a t-shirt brand, you got to consume other t-shirts. You got to buy them. You got to see what other people are doing. And for YouTube, the same. Like, um. Lily was the other day. Is like, wait, you didn't put no text on the on the thumbnail. I was like, no, I'm trying something, you know. So I tried it and it did okay, yeah. You know, so next time I'm like, you know what? Let me go back to something else. And you keep yes. testing and testing, and it's very trial and error. Yeah, like you'll have a video that will do good, and you didn't even try it on it, and then you'll have a video where you tried so hard with all the editing and all the high tech quality, whatever, and it doesn't do good. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's just you have to try and. I think also the the thing people need to understand in order for like for it to help is that Blanca like I like that you asked like oh does this video when it does like bad views does it affect you what people need to understand about Blanca is that she this is her like passion like the money came is extra for Blanca like no matter if she still wouldn't have gotten paid she would still be uploading youtube videos four years ago that if a video never went viral if she was if i was still a truck driver and she was still at the woman's clinic she would still be uploading youtube videos so she loves this shit like for reals yeah so blanca i'm so envious of her and a lot of people are too in the sense that you know why they say find work that or do passion and it won't feel like work right. every day or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, so that's truly the definition of Blanca. Like, this is just like fun for her. Like, the, she's having fun. Mm-hmm. So sometimes she'll get a hundred k views. Sometimes she'll get thirty k views. Important. I've never seen her be like. I've never in our six years of knowing her has <laughs> she ever said this video did bad. Oh, shit. Never, never yeah. have that's I ever heard ass. Blanca yeah, yeah. on my mom that's on fair. Franco. I'll put that's it that fair. she's never said this video did bad. Or why I thought this it video just pushes was you be to bad. go harder. Never, I'm yeah. on the next, never. Right? That's I, good. I was like, wow, like that's crazy. And I think that's part that contributes to her success is that she truly does this for liking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, your um your community, your followers are great, and we know that because we have some of the same followers. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. so um, but my question is, when you get those hate comments. And, you know, there's always something. We, mm-hmm. we Everyone gets them. Some get them more than others. But when you get them, how do you bounce and push that away? How do you bounce out of that? 
Um, I, t- I started just ig- with ignoring and deleting and blocking. And I think I've gotten a little bolder, you know, mm. because now, like, I think it's just different because for me, it's like if I see something I don't like, you would never catch me typing it out and posting it on someone's mm-hmm. content oh, ever. Yeah. Like I would just scroll or yeah. unsubscribe or unfollow. Mm-hmm. So when I get comments, I'm like, the like how like how unhappy do you have to be to be able to type something out and then post it to someone mm-hmm. that is a human being, like mm-hmm. that has feelings, you know? Mm-hmm. So now like sometimes I, I'll get comments and I just snap back. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it's it's not I don't think it's very good because people it have came at like me good. like Oh, I'm always stabbing back. <laughs> They're <laughs> like, I didn't know that she was like that. And I'm like, oh, you, you didn't know that your mean words would get to me and I would yeah. want to defend myself? Right. Like, yeah. that makes no sense. But y- usually I just, I kind of brush them off. Sometimes I, um, I'll um, i clap back if it's not. Sometimes you have time. Yeah. <laughs> like, so if I have a lot of time or if they really hit me in a spot where it hurts, like, like for example, my parenting or, like, my son. Oh, I will be right in those yeah. comments. Like, girl, shut up. You know? Yeah. But for the longest time and what works for me is just deleting the comments. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm never going to let something or leave something up for other people to see and engage with. Yeah. Because so. they will right away. It's mm-hmm. like a, it opens up the doors to all the haters or yeah. anybody that has been wanting to say something. And, and I yeah. think that's how I've kept a really healthy community mm-hmm. because I don't let I don't let people like even if they're thinking it, I don't let them like dive deep into that thought. Yeah. Like, I'm like, you're thinking it, but you wouldn't post it unless someone else comments it. So yeah. Yeah, I, I'd I, rather delete. And I think that's big, too, because people love piggybacking on exactly shit. so if, if you delete it right away no, no one, one else has a courage no to do the same know. and exactly. that person that's thinking it probably thinks they're stupid they're like fuck i'm the only one thinking yeah, this yeah. Shit. yeah. yeah. maybe i should change my kind of get rid of them little by little like that yeah, yeah. 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 i've done that since day one mm-hmm. day one block delete block exactly. delete because because i mean this is a big question for you but before i get to that question is um a lot of people look for drama a lot oh, of people yeah. want to generate. A lot of people want to stir the pot. Like, they're like, all right, if I ask this and if I say this, people are going to, she's going to clap back and say yes. something. And I think what, what, <laughs> it was funny because it, it got a little out of hand. I'm not going to lie. Lily don't know what I'm talking about yet, but. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, I mean, we, you had, you just had a baby shower, right? Mm-hmm. And man, they would ask oh. F over and over and oh, over yeah, yeah. again. Like, even Lily would be like, I just told you guys. And then people would respond and say, oh, well, we had my niece's birthday. Mm-hmm. We couldn't make it. But people would still ask trying to stir up the pot. Literally. So my question to you, did you get mad that um, Lily didn't come I to the baby pissed. shower? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I, I think that the more we get into like our parenting journey, you just realize that there's just so much more to life. Like, when you told me, oh, it's my niece's birthday, I'm like, bro, duh, you're going to go to your niece's mm-hmm, birthday. Mm-hmm. Why would you fly halfway across the world for my baby shower? Like, yeah. you, you're you going to come, I'm, I assume, and I hope yeah, that you're yeah. going to come meet her like you did Franco, you know? But I was like, it's a baby shower, and I, I know our friendship, and I yeah. know with, that we don't have to. Like, if I don't fly out for something, I know that you're not going to be like, yeah. wow, really? She didn't come, you know? Yeah. I was like, no, like, please go to her birthday party. And you and yeah. the fact that you still text me, you're like, I wish I could make it, you know? Mm-hmm. We were waiting until last minute, right? Yeah, yeah. We were. Where? No, yeah. I was like, I'm not mad at all. Like, I'm yeah. just happy that I know that I have you guys as my. I would have thought it was know? weird if you would have came. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you had left your, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. I feel yeah. like people no, okay. don't understand, even though that, the, even though this is our job, even though you have the means to fly out, even though you can do whatever you want with the time and whatever. Like, you don't have to do it, mm-hmm. and you don't have to fly across the world just for a baby shower when there's so many other opportunities to come visit us, and you've already came so much, yeah. you know, and yeah. showed up for us in so many other ways. So mm-hmm. it's like, why would I ever be mad? Yeah, absolutely we ha- not. We had so many people, right, yeah. babe? Like it was. I think that was the number yeah, was, one question oh my God. ever on my social media life for weeks. To the point, yeah, to the point where I didn't know how to handle it. I was like about to literally block the word Blanca from <laughs> like, <laughs> like just until it like, psh, you know, like came down because I literally posted on my stories why I did. I think we answered it on the Cruda Realidad. Mm-hmm. Um, he did a TikTok answering that and yeah. still, which, but I get it. There We, we have, gracias a Dios, there's so many people that watch us and want to know. I don't ever think it's coming from a bad place. Mm-hmm. Like Mando says, stirring up the pot. I don't think. All of them. Nah. No, nah, I don't think all of them are 
asking to to store up the pot, but I was just like, bro, like if you could just go back one TikTok, you will see that I exactly. already answered it because it was so much. But we wish we would have came, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I wanted we, to be here. For we sure. were we were trying to figure it out, but I was like, it's too much, and it's too. It's a what five hour flight? Like yeah. I would have never expected. And, and then four hours to his exactly his brother's house, house right? Yeah, yeah. that, that yeah. would have been exhausting, and I just think that. I love it, too, because people genuinely like our friendship, yeah. you know, and we've built that and we show how genuine it is. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people are like, oh, we miss Lily and Mando. Yeah. They're like, they, were, oh, they yeah. were missing. But yeah, there was like no ill intentions. Yeah, the, we're still the whole time that we finally said we were coming over here for my family trip. The next question was, are you going to visit Blanca? 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 And I was like, I mean, I'm going to try, but. You know, I'm going with my family. It's 20 exactly. something of us. What am I going to pull up with 25 yeah. people to Blanca's yeah. house? You know, um, number one or number two, my friend is like super pregnant right now. I'm like, she probably doesn't want to <laughs> go nowhere. She's probably like, I had just seen your post, which you posted oh, that yeah. you were just like super. What was it? Done. Sensitive. And just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't want to bother her, especially with 25 people with us. And then they went out of town. So I was like, if it happens, great. You know, but if it doesn't, it's OK. We're going to come back whenever the yeah. baby is born whenever she's ready for us to come you know i think that people put such like huge expectations on influencers like just because you're an influencer and just because you're flying to colorado well, you have to go meet her you have to go visit her you have yeah. to go create content with them and i'm like it would be it'd be a little bit crazier if you just came to my baby shower because you needed to film a video yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. and it's like our friendship is so genuine that i know like you're not gonna be at all my events yeah. but i know that you're still supporting you're still texting me you're still telling me like i wish we could have been there you know mm-hmm. so i'm like no there was i mean it was sad and i told you yeah. i was like i missed you and i wish yeah, you would have yeah. been here but yeah this podcast didn't even wasn't planned you guys yeah. our flights got canceled um, no, we missed our flights last night mm-hmm. and uh, we had to book another flight. And I was like, you know what? Instead of a 6 a.m. flight, let's book the 6 p.m. flight and make this podcast happen. And we yeah. made it happen. Thanks to Jonathan. He was like, yeah, just let me know. We'll make it happen. And we're here, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's the beauty about it. We get to control. Um, I mean, we get to do whatever the fuck we want to do at the end of the yeah. day, whatever yeah. makes us happy. We don't like you said, we don't got to. Oh, we're going we going to Colorado. No matter what, we got to go visit Blanca. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. no, if we can, if we'll we make can, it happen. Exactly. Yeah. And that's if, just like normal life mm-hmm. stuff. Like just because we're influencers doesn't mean that we have to go above and beyond yeah. for that too. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work yeah. out, you know? Kind of like that time that y'all went to Miami and then random last minute, hey, we're here if yeah. y'all want to if y'all want to come by. Exactly. And we were like, okay, but it was never planned, no. you know? Yeah. And we would have never expected, oh, they have to drop everything in Tampa to come meet us in Miami. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but, a lot of things that I've noticed that people, I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm sure you get it, too. If I get it, you get it, too. But um, I I noticed that a lot of the following, like, they think that our life revolves just around us, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, yo, like, I have, like... I have a whole family, my my yeah. nieces, my nephews, my grandma, exactly. my, you know, like they have parties too. They have events. Mm-hmm. So does Blanca and her family, you know, like, so as much as we would want to always be Present. together yeah. every weekend, you know, like yeah. when we live, how many hours is the flight? Four hours, four, hours, yeah. four yeah. hour flights away. That's and long. two, like she has a whole family, parents you know uh sisters dogs, dogs cuñadas <laughs> yeah. yeah so do we so there's always like things that we both have to yeah. do in our daily lives you know not just oh like if i'm here today i'll get back to tampa tomorrow and they'll be like so when are you gonna go see blanca yeah. again and i'll be like <laughs> literally i just saw her I was just at her house. Yeah. but yeah w- I, we just text each other the other day like we wish we lived closer yeah. you know like we live so far that's why we never have guests on the podcast because we exactly. live all the way in florida but um we wish we lived closer exactly. you know yeah. that way we could be more apart of like our everyday, you know, mm-hmm. like Blanca, you trying to go to Target, girl? Less, I go. will literally <laughs> love nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jonathan, bro, wake up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm cracked out now, from my camera. I, I, I got a question for you because yeah. you recently started um, something amazing, and I'm not sure if the TCR podcast knows about it. So tell Ooh. us a little bit about Vibe and Co, man. Mm. All right, guys. So as many of you guys know, and if you don't know, Blanca and I started a brand called Vibe & Co. I think last year in December, 2022 of December. So 2023, basically. But basically, the brand was just started in order to fund 
with something much more important, which is Vibe and Cares. It's basically a private foundation that we started in order to provide free yeah. therapy for people. That's specifically, awesome. you know, women that follow us that because that's our demographic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 20% of all sales, you know, shirts, tote bags, sweaters goes towards providing, you know, free therapy for just people that submit their application in our website. Yeah. And that's awesome because one thing that you touch a lot on your podcast is mental health, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, in our community, the Mexican community, that's like frowned upon like mm -hmm. like it's not not maybe frowned upon but yeah, it's yeah. just not common so for you to bring that out to light and people actually need therapy yeah. some need yeah. it more than others you know some need it because they're stressed at work or yes. they're having financial problems or whatever Depressed. the case is mm -hmm. depression yeah. but other other ones other people have actual trauma yeah, yeah. and yeah. actually need it so it's very important that um you know, you guys are actually, out there. Actually, I have a question, um, and, and it goes good with this. And you might know, you might not know, but since your mom is a therapist, maybe you mm -hmm. kind of know. Um, if you know somebody that you know for sure needs therapy, um, but they're just like that mm. macho like person, like, no, that doesn't work, or no, I don't need that, but you know that they need it. Like, I actually thought about right? that, too. How can you... Or what, what do you think or how, tips that you can help th those type of people, like, see it as more normalized? Like, it's okay for you to go, you know, like, mm -hmm. do you have any tips on what you could tell them or how you can kind of open up those doors for them to try to even look into that? I know John's is going to say this, but great fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great question, actually, because we do a, a lot of our applications don't come from just like a person saying, hey, I need therapy. It's actually like I would say a good 30 percent of them are like, hey, my mom needs therapy, but she doesn't want to come. Is it cool if we just surprise her? Like there's oh, been shit. girls that have wanting to set up their moms. I'm like, first of all, that's illegal. I can get in trouble. My mom can get in trouble. Second, like that puts my kind of like, yeah, at the end of the day, she's our therapist and she's prepared for it like professionally. But that also puts my mom. I still love my mom, you know, at a risk. Like, I'm not going to put her in front of someone that doesn't want to be there, yeah, you know, yeah, correct. because some people are very rude or mean, what, 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 et cetera. I think the best way to go about this, because we have done a little bit of research from what my mom has told me, is tienes que llegar por su lado. Unfortunately, that's oh, just okay. how it is. Blanca has taught me a lot with Franco when he throws a tantrum. Our response as like me as a dad is like to be like, no, no estés llorando, blah, 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 no llores, or like to yell at him or something like that. Mm -hmm. When like you have to let the tantrum pass by and then talk to him, just talk to him through it, you know? Mm -hmm. Same thing with a, a patient. Hey, maybe they, they're into sports. They're a macho man that loves football, but they have trauma. Hey, man, did you know that? Let's just take the Cowboys because I know this oh, is a great let's example. Let's talk about the Cowboys, um, bro. I know, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know a lot of great uh, quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott, uh, Deshaun Watson. They actually take therapy to be more confident, mm -hmm. therefore to play better. Yeah, that's fine. So, yo lo que haría if I have a big macho man, but he likes football, but he thinks therapy is for wimps or is, you yeah. know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, hey, man, you know that the guy you actually idolize or you think is badass and you have your jersey, he takes therapy? Mm -hmm. That's that makes him be a more confident man, therefore be a better quarterback. Did you know that? I'd be like, no way. Because then if you start to relate that, then it looks less, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I would just darles por su lado because someone that's hurt, someone that's traumatized, you're never just going to nail it by, like, forcing mm -hmm. them to go to something. Yeah, they have to want to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes yeah. that's the biggest thing. They have to want to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, you can't fight. You can't fight fire with fire. No. Mm -hmm. I've had, you know, girls where, like, they – um they retouch up with us and they're like, because at first they'll be like, hey, is there a way I can surprise my mom? Like tell her it's a Zoom meeting for something else. And then your mom just pops up and gives her therapy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, like, like you know, start talking to her, do the, And then they'll update me. They're like, hey, my mom's actually a little bit more open. Give me one more week. I think I can convince her. A week rolls around. Okay. I, hey, I think my mom's ready. She said that she's willing to. Okay. We get her mom in there and boom. She loves it, you know. She wants to come back, do more, oh, this and that. Now awesome. she takes it with her daughter, so it's yeah. a, a family thing, and it's just incredible, man. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, I recently <laughs> saw a podcast you were on, and um, I was like, yo, Jonathan is shining. Like, he's fucking killing this podcast. So I was like, you know what? Whenever he's on my podcast, <laughs> I want to I wanna touch a little bit about this subject. 
and um, ask him about it because I heard a little bit about this story and I want him to like tell us and enlighten us today. Okay. You know, there's a there's a big ass horse outside of the Denver airport uh -huh. and they say there's a conspiracy <laughs> theory behind it and no sé qué, no sé cuánto. So can you let us know what's going on behind the big Mira. blue horse? Pues con el puro nombre, it tells you everything. Do you know the horse's name? No. No. His name is Blucifer. Oh, <gasps> so Lucifer, but he's blue. No so way. So the have I seen the horse? No, um. because you're always on your phone. <laughs> we drive by. <laughs> or you get here at night or something. Yeah. Show I'll me. show you tonight, babe. So basically, it's a big horse. And the story behind it is that he was, you know, being sculpted and painted. But I think during the sculpting process, he actually fell on his sculptor, on the uh, artist. No way. And he killed him. And <gasps> no sé si estos crema los tacos o salsa los tacos, como le dicen. But when he fell, I guess it squished a part of his body and blood squirted on the on the horse's okay. eyes and his eyes glow red now. No. They made well, it like on purpose. Had, yeah, they were stained. Yeah. So, so at nighttime, it's to. badass because you see this big horse and then his eyes are bright oh, red. Lit. You can see the red a little bit during the daytime, but nighttime is the best. Because, um, <clears throat> like in Florida... Oranges are the thing in Florida, right? And gators. So horses are the big thing here in Colorado, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that like they're... The but that horse also symbolizes one of the four horses of the apocalypse. Okay. So if you read the Bible in the last book, Cuando se va a el mundo, when Jesus comes, four horses come with guys riding them, symbolizing the end of the world. He's one of them. You see, oh, I told you he was good dang. at this. Yeah. <laughs> I so never knew nothing. It's nothing because is. the Denver airport <laughs> is a focused a lot around conspiracies, the end of the world, bunkers. They say that there's a whole city under the Denver airport for the elites to come when the world ends. And Look at that. Damn, okay, I, think, I know where I'm coming. I think you guys should comment down below and let Jonathan <laughs> know that he needs a five-minute segment, segment on Spill the Beans. Oh, wait. I've had so many segments. I've had the weather. I've had motivation. Oh, yeah. I've had okay. business shout-outs, Christmas trees. <laughs> Just, let's throw another one so in. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, that weather segment, even though you think it's corny and yeah. whatever, it's really good, bro. Because I thought it was corny because when people wake up, they can see the weather. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I have no idea what the weather's like in El Paso. I oh, mean, I would like yeah. to know. Yeah. yeah. Not, that, it, not that it's going to change anything. It's a fun fact. Yeah. It's a fun fact. So yeah. I, I think that was cool. Like, oh, shit, it's cold in Colorado this weekend. And it's fucking yeah. 90 it's degrees here in Florida. It's freezing this weekend, actually. Yeah. So we, I think that's cool. I mean, segments are very important, Jonathan. So think mm -hmm. about it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but Thanks yeah. for reassuring um, him. That was your fun fact for the day. That was a so fun far. fact. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed that Blue one. Super. But um, other than that, I enjoyed our time here together. Um, <gasps> it went too. by fast. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm kind of upset that we're leaving already, babe. No, you don't have Bruh, to. Bruh, please just change I heard your Frontier flights. has really good policies. I heard you that. don't have to pick up your mini cow this week. Yeah. We don't have to yet. We don't this have weekend, to finish his It's Friday Monday. Yeah. You can still go home on the weekend. Yeah, no pasa nada. <laughs> Lily, uh, Lily is queen of no pasa nada. Literally, yeah. no pasa nada. I am the queen of flights. that. And mm -hmm. um, Blanca is a queen of making people change their flights. So, Period. I mean, we don't know. A ver qué pasa. A ver. I mean, you, you guys are it's literally already early. here. Yeah, at least they might for the Bucks well game. At least. Wait, the Bucks <laughs> played today? Yeah, yeah it's a playoff game. We'll be oh, in the okay, air. okay. Ah, boy, and the Wi Fi has been sucking in airplanes recently, so you might not be able to watch Dang. the game. I don't even plane. think you can I'm stream convinced. on the airplane. I'm convinced, you guys. We might stay another night. I'm going <laughs> to leave it up to Mando, y'all. As, as long as we pick up my mini cow this week. Yeah, sure. We'll by it by end of week. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you have to go see my mini cows. Eh? Oh, I, yeah. We're going to go. Like, there's no way. Well, we're did not. you know that that's the official mascot of the Spill the Beans podcast? Yeah. The Highland. Oh, oh Highland. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know it was a Highland. Yeah, with the hair. Oh. Well, I didn't know it was a Highland either. Yeah. yeah, yeah we even have it. the. Do you have the stuffed animal? Oh, I think it's He's going to be part of the new studio, but. We have a little stuff. The, the shirts. Remember the Imagine shirts? Imagine you go do a Spill the Beans podcast. <gasps> and a we'll photo have. shoot with Wait, the mini we cow. We should do our new Lily, headshot. Lily, nos prestas tu mini cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll fly Yadira you out see? there for the picture. Yeah. yeah. Because we need to take new towel pictures. Yeah. So yeah. We're going to go. Because I was like 100 <gasps> more pounds on the one on the Spotify. <laughs> so I was like, babe, we need to change that picture. <laughs> yeah, but now you need to wait for me to lose a little weight after I give birth. Ah. It, go, it goes out quick. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so um, thanks again for joining us today. Um, you guys back us. at home. Thanks, Blanca, Jonathan, mm -hmm. for opening up your studio for us and oh, thank you. letting us Franco's record here mm -hmm. and knock it out. Shout out to Franco. He hasn't made one noise. <laughs> Franco's locked up. Nap time right now. Yeah, Ozo and Chai, I haven't heard them either. Oh, so see. They're badass. Yeah, they know what snapping. time it is. They, yeah, they know, what know time they time do. They know it's nap if time. If they want to eat, house. they better shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but before we go, I know I, I know I just said it, I'm gonna close it, but uh, I almost forgot. Um, we like we like to close out the podcast with a little motivation. So I don't know if Blanca or Jonathan want to take it away, and so we could close it out. Both oh, of you, I want both of y'all to do one. That's so cool. ba- I think this go- ties in a lot with um, content creating and how you wanted this podcast to go because I consume a lot of content as well. And I recently started watching a girl that blew up literally from zero to two million followers in a year. Wow. And she was on the podcast talking about it. And she's like, you think like there's so many people in this world, but there's no one that's like you. Mm-hmm. so that's what you bring to the table that you're you you're different you have different interests different hobbies you're a different parent you know so mm-hmm. there's nobody here like you so if you want to do whatever it is you want to do you want to be a nurse a doctor an influencer like do it because nobody brings to the table what you do mm-hmm. oh, that's you know? awesome yeah that's 100 percent that. true, that's true. Mm-hmm. because jonathan says this a lot he wish his friends would post as much as yeah any, any other mm-hmm. influencer exactly. i want to see what you do for a day. I want to see you up in the crane working your yeah. view down exactly. there. Exactly. And like you said, only you. There's only one of you. Exactly. So that's, that's great. You know. Mm-hmm. I've had Jonathan. What you got for us today? Well, this one's for some good, like beginning of the year motivation because I feel like a lot of people we're pressured to be like it's the beginning of the year. I better be in a good position to start off good yeah. the year in a good this and that. So it's a little little funny story I've told on Spill the Beans, but I'm, it's a TCR exclusive right here. Let's go. Sheesh. Yeah, TCR. Because I texted you TRC yeah. the other day. <laughs> but anyways, it's it's this dad and his son, right? They're like, I don't know why the story makes them Asian, but they're like on an Asian farm in China and stuff and uh, on a Chinese farm. And so the dad... He's like farming, whatever, and then the the horse escapes, and then the son's like, "Dad, the horse just escaped." Blah blah blah. Like we're not gonna be able to farm, and then the dad goes like, "Eh, so what?" You know. So then the horse comes back, and then the son's like, "Dad, dad, the horse is back. Like we can be farm again. Aren't you excited?" The the dad's like, "Eh, so what? It is what it is." And then finally, he the son gets on the horse and. The horse knocks him down and the son breaks his leg. So then the neighbor's like, hey, man, he talks to the dad. That sucks. Your son broke his leg. He won't be able to work for your farm for a long time. So then the dad's like, you know, it is what it is. So that it, it, it's supposed to be like that. So then the, the China breaks out into a war and they start recruiting from every household. The, young, the oldest son, the soldiers come to the dad's son. Hey, give us your oldest son for the war. He can't go. His leg's broken. All right. Yeah, we can't take uh, no disabled Dang. people. So the son doesn't go to the war and doesn't have a sure death in the war. He gets to stay home. Hey, hey, that's really good that your son didn't have to go to the war. That's awesome. It is what it is. So st- more of the story, whatever position you might be in right now, maybe you just got fired. Maybe you just have like a low, you know, in your relationship or you broke up with someone that you thought you were going to be with for the rest of your life. Like, you're in the exact spot that God has you in for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, like you are where you are wow. in that That's very really moment good. for a reason. No matter how low or how high it might be in that moment, it's for a reason. And just trust God and everything's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and some people are better that. at <laughs> processing that than others. Mm-hmm. For example, we're literally um, in the mountains, s- snowing like crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about snowing cats and dogs. Snowing, right? Bad. And Stuck by an avalanche. And the, the GPS says we get into the airport at 2.30. We're supposed to be there at 12.30, bro. Damn. <laughs> so now we, we're we like, GPS sometimes is, is wrong, right? By the time we get out of this little yeah. little curve, we'd be good. Bro, we get to this curve. This is gridlock. It says like 30-minute delay. Just there. Like, we didn't move for, what, an hour? Mm-hmm. We didn't move. Damn. And Lily's back there like, mm, no pasa nada. We're, her the tia queen. is like freaking out, like <laughs> calling her husband, calling calling um, the Frontier Airlines, but then Frontier Airlines doesn't answer, so she's on the chat. <laughs> Lily's like, that's okay, my phone died. I, I'll worry about it later. It, you is, know? What yeah. it, is. it is what it is. I feel like I'm the queen of that yes. yeah. for, for yes. us at least. And I, my tia was next to me, and I saw her text. Her, my my tío didn't come, right? So I saw her texting him, Robert, this is happening. Da, da, da. And I'm like, why are you stressing him? Stressing <laughs> someone else yeah. on the other yeah. side of the United States. They can't do much. Like, yeah, I, I'm like, and I, I told her shit. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know you were like an overthinker like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, because my tia's super chill, super chill, right? Mm-hmm. 
And she was like, no, it's just, you know, whatever. I don't know, right? I'm like, yeah, we should be grateful that we are not the people stuck under the avalanche. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, exactly. Right? Or our car stuck and we, we can't we, we should be grateful yeah. that we are in a car. We have gas. We have eat. We even had food. We had um, a heater, you know? Like, that's the type of stuff that I look at. Yeah. Like, it's okay. Now, yeah. if I was outside... Pushing and my car, car was under stuck under an avalanche, then, then okay, we have a problem. But todo lo demás, I feel like it's extra. It, we yeah. will figure it out. You know, yeah, we might miss our flights. You know, yeah, like thankfully we have the means to reschedule or, you know, obviously if there's people that didn't have that, I get it. But th- that for right now, like it is what it is. You know, God didn't want us on that flight for whatever yeah. reason. Um, and that's all. Like, and you went to the airport, and it was easy to to just get another yes. flight. Yeah, and look, so and easy. here we are now. It was exactly. so easy. It was yeah. impressively. So, easy. what was the stressing for? Yeah, <laughs> everything's yeah. fine. You yeah. just got some canas for no reason for free, <laughs> <laughs> and gave my tío canas too back <laughs> on at the home, other side. You know, that's yeah. True. So, what's the word? It'll be okay. What is it? It, it, it is, is what, what it, it is. is. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah, it is what it is, babe, and it is what it is. You guys, I know you guys want this episode to be a little longer, but no pasa nada. We're gonna do part two on the spill the beans Sheesh. this Friday, so go check it Sheesh. out. Um, are we? Yes. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Um, thanks for having us in your living room, in your car, at the gym. But who works out to podcast at the gym? You do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Janelle. I Janelle do. They're exactly. I'll be listening. I'll be catching up. And a quick hack, you guys, because I know these podcasts could get long. And I recently discovered this one. I started playing podcasts at 1.5, oh my so that gosh. way I could get through them quicker. That's because insane. You I, can literally have someone go. And it doesn't take no. away the emotion. No. What? Like I sometimes I. I'm so like. I know. I'm so caught up into podcasts that I have to like just check it off and listen to it. Like, wow. yeah, like, it's just, I don't know why. Here like, I, I have, like, a five, six podcasts that I listen to a week, oh, I not a day. <laughs> I was gonna like, say, I got to listen to them, um, and I feel left off. I don't, you know? Oh. So, uh, not all it's of them. It's the FOMO. Yeah, not all of them I listen to at 1.5. Others I never I even do. knew this. But, yeah, that's a hack, you guys. If you guys don't have... <laughs> Don't have a whole hour to listen to us. Just put well, out. Well, that's 1. how 5. he edits. Yeah, at I edit fast at one point five. Yeah, what? I'm always like, one day I'm gonna get canceled because he's gonna miss something. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you edit? That's insane. So the podcast when I'm listening to it, like put it? I put it at one point five and just chop things up. How do you remember oh. to go back to normal? I don't. Oh. Well, I I edit at one point five. I don't like export it at one point five. But so how do you know not to export at one point five? Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's hard. Like yeah, imagine one day you just upload it at one point five. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like, damn, you guys are talking Babe, about Babe, I've closed this podcast. Out on coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, Los que muchos se despiden, no se quieren ir. Sure. <laughs> Help me out, babe. I've closed this podcast out. <laughs> and this is the thing she hates the most about it, by the way, right? Yeah, me- she'll be like, all right, babe, close it out. So I'll be like, all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you on the next. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> no, 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 no. He'll start talking a little bit more. And then, then I'll be looking at him like. Yeah, she hates that. So then he'll be like, okay, okay, let's close it out. All right, you guys. Da, da, da. Yeah, babe, but you know what? <laughs> oh, for example. Yeah. But right. before we continue, before we leave, you know, I'm like. Mm, like just, I nice. just closed it out three times. So what Mando, else you, you need to make um, merch that says, for example. For example. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, see. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys on episode 73. And once again, thanks for having us at your house, at your studio. And thanks again for joining us on TCR 72. Thank and the other vamos, nos vemos. Good morning, good night. Hasta America. luego. <laughs>